Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. In front of me, have the Mavic Pro. We just received it yesterday, and what I'd like to do is just demonstrate uh, the process that we go through when testing in the simulator. We're working on a new app called Scribble Drone, and I want to demonstrate that and just what needs to happen to be able to test before you go to the field. One thing that I do want to demonstrate is just this landing process. It was something new to me. You can see that the light's blinking and I'm pulling down on the stick and it ultimately lands itself. And so the Mavic is super awesome for those that are new to drones, might not have much flight experience. To me, it's amazing. It isn't as fun to fly as maybe a, a manual rig where you have full control, but that's just a side note. Let's go ahead and take a look at Scribble Drone and how you connect this to the simulator. First thing we'll do is we'll power down the aircraft. Then we'll power down the remote. We'll go ahead and remove the props. The next thing we'll do is start the DJI Assistant. This is actually the Assistant 2, which does work with Mavic Pro. Next up, I'm going to connect the Mavic Pro to my computer over USB. Now the first thing I'll do is make sure connectivity and everything works properly. So I'll go ahead and power up our remote. Then I'll go ahead and power up the aircraft. Now what we should see happen upon power is that the assistant will recognize and show us that the aircraft is connected to the PC. So there we are. It's funny because this actually says little pilot. And what I'll do for the first test just to make sure that the simulator is working properly is we'll go ahead and open it It'll currently show the Phantom 4 frame, but that's okay. And what I'll do next is just make sure that we can fly in the simulator. So I've gone ahead and armed the motors. Looks like everything is working properly. I'll go ahead and come down and land, and then we'll hook up the app and give it just a quick test. Now what I'll do is go ahead and mount my iPhone in the controller. Now this is probably the quirkiest thing about this setup. I've had a few problems getting everything working properly, but you can see you just slide it in there. You find the connector. You can see in here, there's the lightning connector and you kind of line it up and then you just push it in. Now we have a connection. Now the other tricky thing is actually using this home button. There've been a lot of posts about this, but you just got to get in there so now after connecting my phone, I've launched Scribble Drone. The UI still needs some work, but you can get the gist of it. Now if you look over here in the simulator, I don't know if you guys can see this, it says our latitude and longitude. Now I've just specified an arbitrary latitude and longitude, but what happens is that with that set, it will send that command or that location to our app. And what I'll do next with Scribble Drone is I'll just click draw. We'll draw a little path. See that specifies 48 waypoints. We can go ahead and simplify that a little bit. You have the option to change the uh, tolerance of that. And I'll go ahead and click launch. And you can see that in the background, the simulated aircraft is taking off. And by default right now, everything's set to 20 meters altitude. That's just for testing purposes. Our little Mavic or drone icon moving along that flight path. Now this does support all DJI aircraft and really what we wanted to do is get something in place for those who want to do maybe light painting or long exposures with their camera and being able to uh, shoot the drone. Now let me also point out something that's pretty cool about this DJI SDK. So right now we're in fully autonomous mode but I can pull back on the pitch stick and watch what happens as I do that. The aircraft will slow down and then it's actually starting to go backwards. So during autonomous flight, you do have control, almost like a fly-by-wire type scenario where it's staying on that wire and you can control 
uh, its backward motion as well as its yaw. You can see here that I'll go ahead and I can yaw or actually spin 360 while it's following that flight path. There it is, still continuing down the path, which is pretty amazing. Now once it's done, you can hear the beeping. It has a going home or return to launch. You can see it there. That's just programmed into the software currently, but a uh, very useful feature, obviously, to once you complete a mission, to send it back home. I just wanted to share this process with you guys. We've been working on Scribble Drone for a few weeks. The Mavic Pro is obviously a great aircraft to be able to do this type of work with. I'll be sharing more information about this as well as the Mavic Pro, some of the stuff we're doing in an upcoming video. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.